Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X Play Fans channel. Here you get a quick taste of Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. No idea what the Atlas has to do with it. The story is essentially or the little intro was you're this kid with funny hair, you get transformed into this very much Kirby creature. A princess shows up, she gives you a whip, and then you kind of roll with it. So I've been playing for maybe 20 minutes, and I'm already 40% through with the game. I was first in this little beach area. I actually had issues with the water level. With the controls being weird coupled with the the spikes are a one hit kill so the way this game works is that you have life and then you have lives and when you run out of life and you die you're actually just sent to the back for the beginning of this little like section i'll show it off in a bit and then when you run out of all your lives you have to fully restart the area so i had to keep restarting this beach area and the area i kept dying at was part of a three like screen of spikes and it just got very annoying and then this boss was a uh, jellyfish this one right here uh, actually just had a boss where it was essentially one of those uh, the things that Lakitu throws out from his uh, in Super Mario. Uh, it just it's just this big old spike guy thing, and actually the boss fight just ran on because after you damage him enough, he actually spawns more of those creatures in, and if you stand in the wrong place, you take damage. So you get one hit, and then you have to let him go and do his little pattern again and whatever. But uh, this game borrows super heavily from Mario in. Uh, What's it called? Uh, Kirby. As you can see, he looks a lot like Kirby, and these creatures are almost straight out of Mario. The actual, the Lakitu creatures I was mentioning earlier uh, are almost uncomfortably close to whatever they call. I, I don't remember what they're called. I would be ashamed of myself. I should be ashamed of myself. But as you can see here, I can walk left, I can walk right, I can jump, I can hover, and then I can whip, and then I can swing. And that's all you do. It's a very simple game. Almost too simple. But it is a little platformer, and here we go. And like I said before, I like, when I played earlier, I finished the second level in about five minutes. But as you can see, these little areas are divided up. Uh, there's this little door, and then you go through you go through this little stage, and then you leave. So if I died here, I would just go back to that first door. But if I lost all my lives, I would be uh, forcibly returned to the beginning of the to the, uh, to the world map. Can't tell. As you can see, the, at the top, I got my health, I got my lives, and then I got these gems. And when I get to 100 of them, I'm sure you can guess what happens. You get an extra life. Yeah. Get out of here with y'all hats. Not even that. It's not even that sunny. Actually, where I am, it is very warm right now. Did you just throw a freaking Molotov? Okay, cool. Aha, there's a swingy. Awesome. Uh, the controls once in a while seem to just not respond how you want them to. Oh, so that's just it. Yeah, there's also a lot of enemies. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm dead. So all the way, all the way over beginning again. Let's actually go to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to this area so I can kind of show some stuff off. But yeah, it's like some of these enemies are like almost feel like they've just been yanked from a Kirby game or a Mario game, like I said before. There's also frogs and stuff that uh, shoot, which we gonna call it uh, projectiles. Look how cute those things are. Everything in this game is cute, it's bright, it's colorful, and it has really good music or really enjoyable music. Yeah, some of the enemy, the looks of the enemies are just so close to some of the other, like, Mario and Kirby stuff that is. It's like, are you inspired by it, or did you kind of just take some ideas from that? Also, if I whip this guy, he will uh, damage me because he's electrifying himself. Gotcha. I think those creatures exist in uh, Kirby, the little flying dudes. smacking dudes out of the air. Nope, can't jump that. But yeah, like I said before, the most trouble I've had with this game is the that one level, that one area in the first level where you have to swim around, and it's just annoying to do. Mostly because I had to do it like three or four times. Nope, oh, come on, cute little thing. Meet your doom. 
Nah, you get to live. Bye. And here are the frogs. Smack. There's the exact same version of this enemy in the last level. And there's a slightly different version in the next level. Uh, you saw him, the little, the little popper dude. I wonder if I can get through this without murdering any cute creatures. I didn't technically murder him, they fell off. Like that, that feels just so close to, damn it. So close to a Kirby game, because I know for a fact that there are enemies who run, yeah, like, a, like ugh, just platforming sometimes. And I'm sure it's part of it is me, but it's, But I do know for a fact, in Kirby, there are enemies that run on apples. And this just feels not like an homage, but almost copying. All right, good, I made that one. And it gets really bad here. Like these guys, these are so clearly just whatever those things that Lakitu throws in Mario. If we get to the boss, I'm not gonna fight him. I'll show you the, uh, the first level. I can't even crouch. I can use the D-pad though. Gotcha. But other than that, it's like the thing it has going for it is it is cute, but it is so shallow that the controls not being amazing at times are glaring. And that's the boss. And I'll show you his attack pattern. He's gonna jump, do that, do this. I'm gonna smack him a few times. He's gonna spit fire at me. He's gonna roll. Oop. Yep. Embya. So he's gonna hit the wall. He's gonna drop some enemies in. So I can get a shot in and then. And then I have to wait for that to repeat. And look how much health he does have. So it's essentially that entire thing. I'm actually doing a lot better than I did last time. Hop over. But yeah, this is this is the boss. A lot like the first one where you just kind of like power through the, uh, or at least get through the additional stuff that's thrown at you and just kind of survive. And smack you and bam, there we go. I just realized I beat him without without taking any damage. And then we'll go to this beach level real quick, just so you can see how it's different. Yeah, it looks nice. It sounds nice. Uh, the platforming's okay, except for some random spots like I showed before. Like, I'm, I feel that there might be a delay on the whip at times. And hop. Hop. Yeah, murder. It's all fun and adorable until you realize you are murdering the heck out of all these little things. But I think the part that throws me off the most is just like not even the controls, it's the how close some of these enemies are from Kirby and Mario. For those curious about achievements, it's essentially beat a level. All right, beat this section, beat this section without taking damage, beat this section without using a health potion, beat this boss without taking damage, that kind of stuff. I think one of them is jump on an enemy to throw him into the water. But yeah, I have no idea what the Atlas is about. But yeah, that's Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. It's an okay platformer. It's just... Overly simple is what hurts it the most, I think. There's no kind of real progression outside of getting lives and the gems and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the x Play Fans Channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, ask them down below. I'll try to get back to you. Check out our videos. Like, share them. It helps us so much. Uh, before we go, let's just... What can we do with the audio? Oh, okay. Why would you ever turn the music off? This music's actually pretty good, and the sound effects aren't that bad. But yeah, just... It doesn't seem like it's going to be that long maybe maybe another 40 minutes before I beat it because it looks like there's only a few more sections and again I have no idea what the plot is anyways thank you and have a nice day bye